Hello everybody. I hope your last few days were quite good. The weather has been reasonably good, at least in this part of India. And I'm sure the weather has been reasonably good and cool in most parts of Bangladesh as well, our neighboring country. And uh, today, I'm really going to take just about 10 minutes of your time where I'm going to quickly explain to you a few words which please try to remember them and use them and also when you'll come across them you'll know what it means. These are very interesting words. Many times I see a lot of people you know and, and they see this word or when I ask them about it or they've read a passage and ask them what does that mean? Huh. Janina, I don't know. Pata nahi hai. Are? They're wearing it on their shirt on their uniforms, high school or college kids, and ask them what does that mean there? Sometimes they say, I don't know. Anyway, so let's get along with it. Few words, and then I'm going to just give you certain um, proverbs, expressions, you know, probat bakho, kahawat hindi mein bolte hai. Okay? So we'll make it short and quick today. The first word, all of you, please uh, listen to this word. Alma mater. A-L-M-A. One word. And the next is M-A-T-E-R. A-L-M-A. Alma. M-A-T-E-R. Alma mater. It basically means, in literal translation, Doyamoi Mata. Okay? In Bangla, it would be Doyamoi Mata. But generally, when we say Alma Mater, we refer to our old educational institute, mostly your school, sometimes college. Schools and colleges are referred by the students, ex students, as their Alma Mater. That was my Alma Mater. I take my friends or my relatives and ah there it is that's my alma mater it means my old school okay of course i can't talk about people who keep hopping and hop step and jump from this school to that school to that school and uh, it's people who have spent nearly seven to ten years probably okay um next word motto m-o-t-t-o m-o-t-t-o motto M O T O. Many times I ask, what's your school motto? Well, class 11, Apoche, 10, Apoche. Motto? What is that? <laughs> I said, the, the writing that you're wearing on your uniform below your badge. Potekta school by college, uniform by year niche, ekta chotto lekha thake. All right? So it is a motto. That is called a motto. A motto is a short sentence or a phrase used as a guiding principle for that institution, educational institutions. Some schools have shikhai alo written there, knowledge is power. Certain schools have it in Sanskrit, some have it in Latin. Like my school have the motto, labore et constantia, which is a French uh, sentence which means by hard work and determination. A well-known uh, school and college has its motto as Nihil Ultra, that is nothing is impossible, nothing beyond. So remember that. Motto is that little bit of a writing that you have, usually on a batch of the school, okay, or college, or any educational institution for that matter of fact. Number three, Something that you will come across a lot on the news and in the newspapers as well. It is coup. Not C-O-O. -O, it's C-O-U-P. C-O-U-P. P for Papa. The full word is actually coup d'etat. C-O-U-P. D-E-T-A-T. -E but we pronounce it as coup d'etat. It's a French origin word. Basically, it means... Shokti bole ba oboido bhabe kono deshe khomota neva. 
taking over power by force. Usually the armed forces, the military does it. And we've had it in neighboring countries. We've had it in Pakistan. We've had it in Bangladesh. We've had it in, uh, it's going on in uh, Myanmar. I mean, many years ago it happened. They are still ruling the armed forces practically. So remember that it's C-O-U-P pronounced as coup. In the paper you will read it. There has been a military coup, which means Shamurik of Bhutan. All right. So that's it. Coup. Then we have the fourth word. Eta omra dekhi prai khobore. De facto. De facto. D e f a c t o. De facto. De facto. Basically means <laughs> in fact. In fact. Bastobik, Bastobik Bhabe. He is the de facto chief minister. He is the de facto boss. Basically, he may not be officially the, the chief minister, but in the reality, he is all in all. Okay? Everything, all in all. So he is the de facto boss. Okay? Uni, uni to. Namai boss. So de facto, bastobik. And then we have a word, ex gratia. E x g r a t i a. It's not gratia, it's gratia. Ex gratia means an act of grace. Now, grace maneki. Grace basically means a kind of koruna, doya, bhalobasha, shob kichu, misron. Ta mistito bhabe. A feeling. Tokon ex gratia um, ki bolbeta. Kripa chrome. Kripa chrome, doya, affection, love, shop kichu ni at a kichu kauke help kora ba dawa. Usually they be on akshuma koto jaga kono accident ba ogoton kote che keo hapa benge che ba marao geche. So the government has declared an ex gratia payment of at the amount, so and so amount to the next of kin. Mane kori bare. Okay, so that is ex gratia. When you are working for a long time in a company and that company suddenly closes down, bondo so they might give an ex gratia payment at an amount de Okay, so that's called an ex gratia payment. So that's it for those. Now, quickly, my dear friends, certain expressions, common, but as I said, practice makes it perfect. I keep telling you many times so that eventually it becomes a part of you. And don't only say it like a parrot. These sayings, Prabhatbakko, Kahawat, they have a lot of inner meaning and can make you into a proper human being. All right? Okay. A lot of things you can learn. Learn good manners, etiquette. Bringing, uh, being brought up properly with good manners and etiquette doesn't mean you don't have fun. It doesn't mean you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't dance and party. You can do everything. But at the same time, you maintain certain decorum and discipline and manners. All right? That's why you're a human being and you get educated in the true sense. Okay. Number one. Kahawat. I'm looking the mebal the a friend in need is a friend indeed. This is very common and simple. A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> I know that very much myself in reality in the last few years. And I'm very glad that I really do have few, but really few good friends. Rolling stones gather no moss. Rolling stones. Stone, patho. It gathers no moss. Moss is acrocomer shawla chadla type. You can eat a pathor jack and a pure take on a jack on egg, then throw the big actor, blue, the shogutong, a chadla motor porridge. That's usually moss, which you may have learnt in uh, biology or something like botany. But a cane ki bojace, jebecti, ajacane, office, kalo, yokane, kale, kachkoche, oikachkoche, asholeki, konojagati, kichikote parana. He is not stitishil, cut out established of the parana. Ah, here, there, here, there. So, a rolling stones gathers no moss. 
then we have better late than never. I'm getting late. <laughs> better late than never. All right. So that means basic, basically, na uh, hoat theke hoy bhalo. Deri te holo, holo to. All right. That is what it means. Better late than never. Well, it's better late than never. Oh, onek deri te ekasta bola. Ade baba better late than never. And then we have something called easier said than done. Easier said than done. A lot of people give a lot of advice and gyan and all these things, but they should realize that bola onek shoja, korathi ke bola onek shoja. Do it by example. Don't give keep lecturing. Practice what you preach, right? And finally, jack of all trades. Oh, he's a jack of all trades. Eita shikche, ota shikche, shob kichhi shikche. Actually, bhalo bhabe kichhi jana na. Like I see a lot of mothers and fathers, parents taking the children class five, six, and chale mein the very kothai jachchen swimming class hai. Kothai jachchen karate shikte. Kothai jachchen cricket coaching club hai. Football coaching. Aare baba ke ki the shobi ekshat the kora the ki to kichhi shikte par be na dhar. Focus on one or two things. Maybe send him for football class. Then he's got his tuition. And maybe if he's good in music, tell him learn tabla or the guitar or piano or something. Bas, bana shop kichu te niye gale to my goodness me. Kichu hi hobe na at the end of the day. Artist ho hobe, dancer ho hobe, ki na ki hobe. Naj be, gai be, khel be. So he becomes a jack of all trades, master of none. Well, but I'm sure that very soon y'all will at least be master of good communication skills in English. Bye for now.